fully loaded, ready to camp out. Beautiful scenery, and we are being watched eagerly by two spectators. We are on the Kennet Avon Canal, starting in. Where are we again? Hampstead Marshall. Hampstead, where? Hampstead Marshall. Hampstead Marshall. We are recording as we head towards our first lock. There's the baby that's going to be doing our steaks. He's going to be doing our steaks. I'm going to be doing the steaks. <laughs> Where are we, John? Well, Jerry, we are somewhere in the middle of nowhere on the side of the bank in the pitch black, but I don't know where. We're on the Kennet and Avon Canal, but not as far as Reading. Mash, potato, mm -hmm. steak. There you go. Dinner time. Mm. No worse would rather be. Amsterdam maybe. Thailand. Oh, a few places. Well, we've made it through the night. The fire is back on. Time for a cup of tea. How did you sleep, John Boy? Well. Everything was good until I, my airbed went down in the middle of the night. John, what are you reacting to the portage? Good man. Coming down the Kennet and Avon off the Woolhampton, you won't find much to eat and drink, but you'll come across the Cunning Man pub, other side of the road, Sally's Cafe. Nice fry up, recommend it. This is the last lock 
Thank Christ. Jerry, how do you feel about carrying this boat over about 40 locks? I did not expect this many locks at all. <laughs> really this difficult. has been hard. Here comes Poco Huntis on his own. Poco Huntis. This is the end. Alas, no more portages. <laughs> we are done. Le finish. Le finish. <laughs> <laughs> So many locks. So many locks. So much portage. We've got to go 20 or 30 so far in the last day and a half. It's not like on the Thames with their posh locks with a push button operation and someone living there and working it for you. But you live and learn. <laughs>